So apparently, if you answer a phone call while taking a video, it hangs up. So, um, sorry that last video ends so abruptly. Um, I didn't really have anything extra to say after it. So I just let it go, and I went and I took a shower, and now I'm back with you lovely folks. Because I feel like I should talk a little bit about what being an editor and a writing coach means to me. Which sounds very cliche, but that's what this is about. So, I stated before that I'm a an editor and a writing coach, and, but I don't really have any certifications or anything like that. And I really wanted to make it clear that you don't have to have those things to be an editor or a writing coach. It's helpful. It certainly gains you ethos. But it's not necessary. You don't have to you don't have to have letters behind your name in order to understand writing on any level. You can understand it massively in depth and never have taken a class at all. I highly recommend that you take classes though. So um part of what my 5 year plan, my 5 year goal is is to get those certifications and those those letters behind my name because I do think that it's important to establish ethos and it's just way easier <laughs> when you've got those letters behind your name. I What was I going to say? Um I actually did this video once before, but I hated how it turned out. Like it was 17 minutes of just rambling about literally nothing and y'all don't need to see that. Um so I I've been an editor freelance for more than a decade. Um, and I've been a writing coach for about two years. Officially anyway. Really when I'm when I'm editing what I'm really doing, I'm more of a writing coach. I, I enjoy being a writing coach more than I enjoy the actual editing. I like to read something and see its potential and see where it, it how how amazing it can be. That's that's how I'm looking at writing when it's set in front of me. I'm not looking at it going, oh, where's the comma error going to be? Because I don't, I mean, that stuff's important, but that's, that's end stuff. That's stuff that comes at the end. Unless you're, unless your writing is really bad. Um, if you've written something, if you've written a novel and you're, and you go after an editor um, you hire an editor and there are obvious errors on the very first page, you haven't done enough. You are wasting your money, um, paying an editor at that point. So when it comes to editing, what you need to make sure that you're doing is A, go through it and self-edit as much as you can. Then Get some beta readers. Beta readers are free. They're amazing. They're an awesome resource. Like, even the worst beta reader is still amazing because it's somebody that's looking at your work and is going to give you an honest amount of feedback. Some honest feedback, that is. Um, after you go through some beta readers, then go back through your work one more time on your own and just make sure that it flows. Make sure you've got as many just basic errors out of the way as you can. Here's my daughter. Hi. Hi. What you doing? I think we're going to go get your Molly soon. It's a stuffed animal. It's a stuffed mermaid. It's not... It's not drugs. Ah... <laughs> uh. Yeah, so, um, what was I talking about? <laughs> um, right, editing. Editing, yes. So, um, 
go through and edit it as best you can on your own before looking at it in, at, at an editor. At that point, especially if you're if you're not an established author, which if you're watching this, I highly doubt that you're an established author. So until you become an established author, get a developmental editor first. Um, they're going to go through and they're going to look at your work and they're going to look at it from a big picture point of view. They're not looking at your commas. They're not looking at your punctuation, etc. If they can't get through it, because of your commas and punctuation, that's a problem. That means that you have some work to do. Um, because otherwise you're just wasting your money. And it's not... There are so many resources to learn grammar and punctuation that you should. And I can certainly... At some point I'll do, I'll do a video about that and, and give you some links. In two places. But in the meantime, Google. Just Google it. How, how do I learn grammar and punctuation? And, uh, yeah, so do, yeah, so you'll do that. You'll go through a developmental editor. And then at that point, you can start looking at line editors, copy editors, different types of editing go by different names. But when it comes right down to it, what I mean when I say either a copy editor or a line editor, Mom. even though they're not the same thing. Mom. Yes, Daisy? What can I put in this that is round? Uh, I don't know. Are the little balls in there? Okay. Well, uh, you can go look for some somewhere. I need a little ball. Okay. We can look for some in just a minute, okay? So, you... Yeah, so there's line editors and copy editors. I... They're technically different. Um... And if you need to know the difference between them, then you probably are beyond this video. Anyway, there's, there's tons of resources where you can find out the difference. So, but they, when I talk about them, I mean the nitty gritty. They are looking at, um, your grammar and punctuation. They are, um, sometimes they're checking your sources, depending on what it is that you're writing. They are, uh, fact checking you, etc. Um. The dev editor is going to do a little bit of that, but a lot, a lot of the nitty gritty is going to be on that level. I don't even know why I was talking about that now. Oh, the joy of kids because my thought process goes away. Um, so I've, uh, I've been doing the writing coaching thing for uh, a while now and I love it. It's so fun. It's amazing being able to take somebody's, somebody's writing and, and their ego because writers are very fragile <laughs> and it is so fun to take someone who's in that, just that budding stage and, and help them blossom. I know it's very cliche and blah, 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 but that, that really is what it is. It's, it's, um, it's taking a writer and showing them what they can do, what they can become. And it's so fun. And I've, I've lost sight of what it is that I'm actually talking about. Um, really, I was just trying to let you know that, yeah, it's easy. If, if what you want to do is editing and writing coaching, go forth and do it. Don't lie to people about it. Be authentic about it. If, uh, if you don't have the credentials for it, then don't, don't, don't say that you do. Um, but also don't sell yourself short. If, if you have an honest intuition for word choice and story structure and all of the things that go into it, then do it. Um, help people. Um, maybe start by beta, beta reading. That's, that's a really good place to begin that process. I should do more beta reading. So that's really about it. Just, um, I am looking at more courses and making myself a real editor. But in the meantime, I'm okay with me. I'm, I'm not lying to clients. I'm not telling them I'm something that I'm not. Um, and I'm also, 
I'm going to be upfront with you if I think that I'm not the right editor for you. If I, if I encounter a piece of work and I'm like, oh, this is perfect, then I know at that point that I'm not the right editor for it. If I'm looking at something and, and saying, there is nothing wrong, there is no way that I can improve on this, then that means that I need to refer them to someone else. And I have a few editors that, uh, that I'm comfortable referring people to. Because I'm not always the right editor. Even if it's not that kind of a situation. If it's like a, uh, if it's a highly academic paper, like a, a scientific article on the heliostructure of the Jurassic world and the Paleolithic, I don't know, no, no, which isn't a thing. I just made those words up. Um, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna refer them to somebody that can help them better, um, to someone that can help them more efficiently than I can. So that's about it. If you have any comments or questions, um, then let me know in the comments. And if you have any questions about editing or writing or anything like that, then let me know and I will try and cover them. Um, chances are I'll cover them because... Uh, this is a brand new channel, and <laughs> if anybody comments on this, and it's not just hate mail, then, um, yeah, I'm, I'm in. I'll answer it. And in the meantime, I'm going to keep letting you know what I'm doing as a writer, and giving you a peek into my process, and how I'm doing, and how it's all coming along, because, oh my god, it's scary! And I'm kind of scary, I know, that face was scary. <laughs> Um, bye. Oh, and hit the subscribe button or some such thing. I'll get better at saying that lingo and working it in seamlessly because that's important or stuff. It's not important for me at this point. I'll see you later.